Okay class, today we're here to discuss this idea of blogs. It is the last technology aspect that we have um, really to talk about. Um, we've already done Edmodo, we've done Edpuzzle, now we're going to do blogs. Um, the next couple slides I'm going to show you have to do with the idea of the how to build your blog sites and how to actually use it um, and what the expectations are. Please follow along before you open up and log in. Watch the two slides and then I will actually switch screens and show you how to take care of all of that. Now, um, I want you to write down the sites or save this in some fashion so that you have it. Um, you're going to go to students.weebly.com. I don't want you to do this now. I want you to watch the full um, first half of the video first before you start actually playing with the site. Um, you have everyone has the same style of username. It's your first initial and your last name. Um, I've already made the usernames and passwords for you. Um, if I told you in class that your username is different, um, then you need to use that one. There are very few that have that, but they do because their first initial and last name was not available. Everybody's password is English. Once your account is set up, I want you to go to your account settings and I want you to change your password um, so that your password is not English anymore. Notice here that it is lowercase. Okay, so there's a couple things I want you to include. Um, you're going to include biography information. Um, don't worry about the appropriate picture um, on the site, the way the site is this year. You don't need to have a picture of yourself, and I forgot to delete that from this. Um, you're going to put an appropriate title that is good for the class. It shouldn't be something as simple as Ms. Kirkman's blog. Um, you will see when I log in, you'll see that mine is simple, but I want you to be a little creative. You can put a quote, put a question, put something that shows you and shows your personality. This is yours to use for the year, so you're going to organize it, you're going to design it, you can change along the way, you can watch tutorial videos and learn more about it, okay? And obviously, if you have questions along the way, um, please email me um, or talk to me before and after class. We can sit down um, in class and go through this together. Um, if you Not in class, but before or after class, we can go through this together if you have questions. We can actually log you in and I can show you a couple things if needed. Um, the site is rather simple, um, as in it's drag and you're dragging a box, you're dropping it in, and you're actually then um, writing in it or you're um, putting a picture in it or you're putting a video in it. Um, it's very simple on that. Um, so hopefully that will help you. I, th I find it much easier than the site we used to use. Um, so this is my first year with this. So please bear with me as we go through this. Um, I'm going to do one more slide and then I'm going to actually show you how to put your site together. Okay, the blog expectations. Um, each Usually each week we will write two blogs and each blog is worth 10 points. Uh, so I can get you a total of 20 points. This week I am only doing one because not only are you building your site, but you are also uh, writing your first entry. Um, on a side note that I haven't said yet is that you need to have your site built by Friday before class. So we can actually look at a couple, um, we can go over them if need be, but I want to make sure that you have the basic build done so that I can actually make sure that you're okay before you leave me for the weekend when you have all those questions, especially since the first blog, is, uh, the blogs are always due Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So if you wait till Sunday at 11, at 11 p.m. to build your blog and then to do your first entry, you're not going to make the deadline. Okay, so I highly suggest starting early. Um, the gr 10 points grade is based on grammar and spelling. Um, these should be written in third person unless specifically stated um, in the instructions. Grammar and spelling count, dead words count, so no contractions, no use, being very specific about that this is where we practice our writing every week. Um, I look at content. Are you asking the question? Or are you doing the blog to its fullest potential? Um, and are you being creative, especially with the creative blogs? We'll be writing usually two types of blogs. We'll do a creative one. Um, and we'll do an informational one, and I'll cover informational ones next week. Today we're focusing on something that's a little bit more creative. Um, so always do Sunday at 11.59 p.m. 
entries must be at least 300 words in length. Um, this is several paragraphs. I don't want it all just one long paragraph. Break it naturally. It does not need to be indented on the site, but skip a line in between paragraphs. When a topic naturally breaks, go on to the next aspect. Okay, block number one, you notice the due date is this Sunday, so fitting into the by 11.59 p.m. This week we've been discussing ethos, logos, pathos, and we've been talking about effective and ineffective advertisements um, and usage of ethos, logos, and pathos. So I want you to find an advertisement that is appropriate for school. That means no sex, no drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco, no hookah. Um, those topics are completely off limits and consider them off limits for the year. Um, it's not appropriate for your age group. So find something if you want to look at something about animals, something about a movie, um, something about fast food or health related. It is your option on that and Google and Bing and Yahoo have a plethora of advertisements that you can use. I want you to post a picture and I'm going to show you how to post a picture. Um, and then I want you to describe the image in detail. Use your, use your um, colors, your adjectives, your be very descriptive. Does it have smoke? What color is it? Does it have a cat, a dog? What color are they? Give details and analysis. Use your words and your five senses within that to describe it. Um, I then want you to go to a new paragraph. So your first paragraph should be the describing the image in detail. And these paragraphs aren't going to be huge. They're going to be probably like five, seven sentences total on each paragraph. Um, then you're going to discuss how it uses ethos, logos, and pathos. We've seen them this week. We did some samples in class today um, on how the images use that. So now is your chance to show that you can do this on your own. And then finally, in your third paragraph, um, which is probably going to be your shortest paragraph, you're going to discuss if the advertisement is effective or ineffective, and it can be both. It can have aspects to both, and you're going to explain why. Okay, I'm going to switch slides, so you're going to see the little bump for a moment, um, and I'm going to go to the website itself. Okay, you will notice now that um, I am on the website. Um, you notice it's students.weebly.com. Um, students you will see this as your login. Um, remembering your username is your first initial and your last name, unless I have told you otherwise. Your password is English. Um, I have already changed my password, so that is not my password, so you'll notice a couple more letters here. Now, when I log in, I have already, because this is my third time doing this video because I had some technical difficulties, since this is my first time using the website, I couldn't be as go in sync as I had hoped or go in order as I had hoped. Um, so when I log in is going to be different from what you see when you log in. When you log in the first time, it's going to ask you to do a URL code or URL naming. URL is the address that you go to on the website. So like here, this is a URL. You are going to make your own. I'm going to show you what mine is on my next slide. Um, and I want you to use your first name and last name. So I want everybody to have that same uniform aspect so they're easy to find for all of us. And then um, I'm, it's going to have a video that's a minute and 18 seconds, I think, pop up. Watch that video. So if you're doing this at the same time that you're actually watching my video, you're going to want to pause and go back and forth. Um, so that you can have, you can't actually, I mean, you can stop the video, the little minute video that they do and but you can't go back to it. So I suggest you continue watching. It's going to give you ideas on design, what it looks like, a little quick tutorial of the website itself. Okay, I'm going to click login. In future times, when you look at the accounts, um, you're going to come to this site when you log in. It'll bring you here. Um, now, this is where you can also go to account settings and change your password. It'll verify all of your school information. I know it says Mr. here. I will fix that um, hopefully before you actually see this live. Um, you'll notice here it has my URL, you, my URL so it says shellydias.weebly.com. Um, and this is the name of my blog. Whatever name you pick will go here. Again, not picking something simple. Um, you need to go to edit site. Now, you're already on this page because this is where it puts you after you watched the video. 
Now I want you, because my page is going to look a little different than yours, so I want you to follow the instructions I'm giving you right now, and I want you to go to Pages. Now you're going to see there something called Home. I want you to add a page, so you click Add, and I want you to click Blog Page. So, because Blog Page has a certain way that it actually um, does the page, so it looks a certain way. So I want you to click Blog Page, and um, pick the design information for it. Now you will have two here. You'll have home and you'll have blog. Okay. I want you to make it just one. So you're going to actually click on the one that says home and you're going to, um, there should be a delete option. So since I can't, since blog is my only one here, um, there is no delete option, but it will be down here behind where my camera actually is. You'll see a delete, a copy page, a save, and an edit. Um, so I want you to get it down just to the blog itself. Now you can change your design elements and settings. You can um, have a, a short header, a tall header. Um, you can have a no header. Um, mine has no header on it at the moment. Um, do not worry about the visibility options. Um, leave them where they are. Um, this will be an upgraded site, so you will not, you'll probably not see this idea here. And don't worry about advanced settings. Now I want you to go to build. So you should be just have one blog. Go back to build. Here you will see, you'll see a title thing. It'll actually say title. Change it to what you want it to be. This is your option. Again, don't stick with something simple. Um, I have, um, everybody should have the word blog underneath their title. Now here on the side, you will notice where it'll say author, change the author, uh, click on it and actually type your name in. This is where you're going to add some biographical information. And then I want you underneath it to actually type in a couple sentences about yourself. Um, mine is a lie because obviously I'm not a high school student. I did play volleyball when I was in high school. Yes, I currently collect Mr. Potato Heads and I do love to read. The rest of these don't worry about. They will feed into it. Um, as the blogs go, these excuse me, areas will become populated more. Now you'll notice I already did my for I didn't do the full blog, but I put it in there. So the idea here is that behind where my camera is, is a button called new post. You are going to click new post and it is going to bring up a blank area for you. It will put the date um, or in the date area. I actually want you to title it. So instead of it being that date, um, I am actually going to put the name of it and I'm going to name it something related to what is actually going with it. So I'm going to put um, ethos, logos, pathos, image. Um, you can name it something different, but still that same idea. Um, then you can actually drag a text box over and start to type. When you go to put in your picture, click on the image one and drag it over and um, you can actually add in the image. The image you can um, copy and paste or you can do a take the URL from the image itself and you can um, do it here. Now mine is not very detailed at all. I just started typing um, and giving you an idea of what this would look like. You can rearrange these if you want to um, have it look different. Um, you see that I just drag it and drop it and it will go where I want it to. If I want to put it on this side, I can and it will show up there. Um, so it is completely your option on how it goes and how it looks. When you are done, you will actually then appear in the corner, click, click the button update, and it will actually publish your post. It'll tell you your site. Um, it's, I suggest you do not share on Facebook and Twitter um, because this is a quiet site that we're doing personally. Um, and you will then have to publish your website. We will not actually see it as a class until you hit the publish button. Um, have a good night with this. Enjoy this. Have some fun. Be creative. Um, and make sure that you have your first uh, or have your site built before class on Friday and your first post done by 1159 on Sunday. Thank you and talk to you later.